I uh, lost my uh, my wife, my my best friend, my coffee buddy, the cancer. Right? We have um, six-year-old son together. Sometimes he's stronger than me because I have to let go, and and, and I cry, and, and he just comforts me, and he holds me and says, you know. I'm here too, Dad. Mm -hmm. I know what you're going through too. My, my mom passed away. I became a volunteer for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is just personal experience. I had a wife who died of cancer, and I found the hospice very helpful in helping us, just helping us get through some of the things. They also helped me after my wife died uh, with programs. From a healthcare perspective, I, I was an emergency physician, so I was involved with the acute care of, of helping people, but I also was very impressed by the people that provided supportive care and hospices and what they had to offer. So when I retired, it just seemed like a natural thing for me to get involved. Um, this shop is a, a fundraiser for the Vancouver Hospice Society. You see their faith, you see their strength. They see other kids, so they don't feel like they're alone. There are families out there who have a similar situation like us, and we're here to comfort each other. My favorite part is that our ritual of adding colors into water, and then how that color represents our feelings, or if we have any words related to the color we put in the water. If we can use the language properly, normalize the conversation about death and dying and educate a community that's a big piece of the responsibility. Butterflies are a big part of hospice and on our logo at the Vancouver Hospice it's the butterfly as well. I find serenity here and it's a place to heal, start your healing journey.